Alright. Hello, and welcome to video number six. And let's play Dragon Warrior 4. Where last time, we got this message. So let's go back and find out what the problem is. Well, not that way. Yep. Yeah, the throwing room was up there. Uh... Okay. What happened to him? This is still open. Get back here and talk to this guy. Yeah, apparently. Okay, so where is this guy? Okay, we were just there. So I guess we go back. Okay, well at least you have the return spell. Get back there instantly. Okay, well, nice to know, I guess. Doesn't help me much right now, though, I don't think. See, you're the one that... Hey, get back here. Come on! Well, I hate it when these characters get in the way. Okay, are you an item shop? Is there anybody here that knows where this nectar is? What? You're not a talking horse? Okay, never mind. This isn't Mr. Ed.
Well, no kidding, really. Nobody here seems to know anything. That's weapon and I armor shops. Yeah, okay. Ow, you creep. I don't think so. Correctly, there's a cave over here somewhere. think. Yeah. Or a tower, okay, not a cave. Well, here we go again the random battles every five steps or less. That shouldn't be a problem. Wait, he just said upstairs. What? He just said upstairs. Is this like Oracle of Ages? Where Impa says she feels drafts from up above? So we go to the basement? Yeah, that's what I thought. So either this isn't what he's talking about. Or this game is playing an Oracle of Ages on you. Talk about upstairs while we go downstairs. Of course, this was like... Eight years to a decade before Oracle of Ages. I mean, this was nine, out in 1990 in Japan, 1992 here in America. Ages didn't come out until 2001. So, Oh, you still do a lot of damage. Holy crap. Ah! And you poison. Of course, you're... Yeah. That makes sense. Life or a snake, of course it can poison. Got the 
antidote spell, or squelch as it's been called in recent games. Now, oh. pay attention, dummy. Okay, there's that door he was talking about. How do you get to it, though? Oh, come on, game, really? Okay, that's more like it. Only three or two <coughs> points of damage per hit. Except for, except for Crystal is poisoned now. Another enemy that can poison you. Oh, yay! Okay, well, poison doesn't. You know, you don't lose hit points between rounds with poison <laughs> status ailment like you do in, say, Etrian Odyssey games. Oh, would you stop doing that? Seriously, what the hell is this? The Mars Cave in the first Final Fantasy game? Okay, which way am I going here? I honestly do not remember. Okay, well... damage. I thought we had the best best gear for this part of the game.
Butterfly dragon? Okay, whatever. Okay, unless one of these is the nectar I'm looking for, this is, well, that could be useful, I suppose. Oh, okay. Give me those, that's fine. I'll use those. Four more points. Probably won't make too much of a difference, but hey. Very primitive versions of some of the enemies in part 8. Well, they're probably in 6 and 7 as well, just. I should say five, six, and seven. Oh, come on, not again. Stop with the random battles every five steps. I mean, yeah, it's nice for the experience, but doesn't do much for dungeon exploration. That was a dead end. Unless I'm just butt blind and missed an obvious path there. Which, you know, it is me we're talking about here, so that's not a total impossibility that I could have done that. Walked right past an obvious path and not even seen it. No, I've never done that before. Uh-huh, who am I trying to kid? Way too many times to count. Oh, there's nothing here. I'm sure there's not, dummy. Swords are attacking. How are swords attacking me? Oh, can't squeeze through there. Okay. I was just wondering because some games you. There's just enough space to maneuver between their graphics and the placement of those pillars are sometimes a little off. Okay, 
in. Oh, this ain't one of those cases. Well, let's see. And by the way, see what I mean about missing the obvious? So focused on those pillars and thinking there's room to maneuver between them, I missed the obvious stairway leading up. Yeah. enemies are up here. Okay, so far nothing we haven't seen before. Oops, I didn't do that right. do have auto targeting to a point. I mean, like the last round when there was two of a group of other butterfly dragons you auto targeted within that group but didn't hit this I mean at least this is better than the NES original of the first Final Fantasy game where there was no such thing as auto targeting at all made each and every random battle that much more tedious and annoying. I mean, more strategic perhaps, yes. But again, like I've said before in other videos, or other chat rooms and forums, while it may have made the random battles more strategic, it also made them more tedious and annoying given the amount of battles you had to do that crap through. Like every single one of them, random battle and boss fight. Painstakingly ex select which party member is going to hit what enemy. Every single battle. More strategic, yes, but also more annoying. But then again, like most other things in video gaming and music and movies, you know, it's all up for personal opinion and personal interpretation, what's what's good or what's boring, so... To this day, I know a couple people who love that aspect of the NES original Final Fantasy game. I think they're a little, you know, yeah. I disagree with that opinion, but say what I think it said good I'm taking that opportunity as much as I hate rent as much as I hate running from random battles since they didn't see me take the opportunity to heal up a little bit no not return I don't like running from random battles a few times here and there perhaps but I'd rather fight those battles and get that experience. Even if it's just a few points, it adds up after a while. Ok, 
here you really got to be careful where you're walking and hopefully hopefully you do not have a sticky controller or a faulty one as you're navigating through these narrow little walkway no no nobody would ever have that for nobody but me that is first time I played this game way back when after just after it came out in North America yeah okay ah only once yeah fell right off the side At least I think it was there, I don't know. Might have been somewhere else I'm thinking of. But... Again, that was 30 years ago. Well, not quite until late this year. But until like October, November of this year. It will be 30 years since this game was first released in this original form. 1992. Good God, it is almost 30. I'm getting old, I tell ya. Even this was 30 years ago. That's it. Before I know it, I'm going to be collecting my retirement checks. Social Security, whatever the f you want to call it. Oh yeah, I found a boomerang. Again. If this were part 5, or part 6, or 7, or 8, or any of the newer, past this one, the boomerang, frick, I would have already had it. Multi-target, hit any enemy on screen. Granted, less damage the more you hit, but still. Multi-targeting. Every enemy gets hit, a, gets hurt a little. But here? Again, unfortunately, they, they didn't program that in until part 5. Or maybe the DS remake of this game. Lita? Lita Ford? No. Okay. No kidding, man. That was a lucky guess. I mean, I do remember some about this game, but not this exact spot on where to look for this stuff. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll take it. I mean, that's what we're here for. Now, why do I keep doing that? She has no magic spells. I don't think there was anything else in this tower. Actually, wait a minute. Just out of curiosity. I mean, I joked about it earlier, the Oracle of Ages comparison and all that. But, in all seriousness, is there anything down here? Well, that's convenience. Having in right here at... Too bad they don't do this in more video game dungeons. Have an inn right here in, in the dungeon. No kidding, man. Too bad they don't do this more often. Of course, then some people would be whining that it makes it too easy. To which I would have to friendly and you know, cordially respond. Well, if you, may, if you think it makes it too easy, just don't use the in then. Problem solved. Just because it's there doesn't mean you have to use it. You know, like how some people that used to play Castlevania RPG games like Portrait of Ruin or Metroidvania, I guess the technical term for them. Portrait of Ruin, Aria of Sorrow, Dawn of Sorrow, Harmony of Dissonance, where nine times out of ten there's always a save room right next to a boss room. Some people complain that it makes the boss battles too easy. 
Well, dude, if that's what you think, just don't use the save room. Go right into the boss battle half dead already. You know, if that's your method of gameplay, have at it. More power to you. Don't use the save room then. But for God's sake, stop your bitching. Or, sorry, complaining. <coughs> Just because the save room is there, doesn't mean you have to use it. Anyways, we're done there. So we take the... No, again, why do I keep... Keep mashing buttons, that's my problem. The zoom spell. Said it before, and I'll say it again. I freaking love this spell in Dragon Quest Dragon Warrior games. Return or zoom. So very convenient. I wish the Final Fantasy games had a spell like this. Call it whatever you want, I don't care the name. Just as long as it serves the same purpose. And why did I return here? Okay, is this supposed to be a parody of Wizard of Oz after they oil the Tin Man? <laughs> I can talk again. Oil my arms. Oil my elbows. So now we don't have to sneak out of the castle anymore. No. Really. I think Elena here would know that. She's lived here most of, if not all, of her life. We don't have to go up to the upper level and sneak out through that crack in the wall and can actually just walk out the front door for once. Return. Do so you think that was over this way? I think. Something about that shrine. Yeah, there it is. The shrine that leads to the Ewoks. I mean, Endor. I mean, what? I know, I know. Wrong franchise entirely. I know. Just the ages old Star Wars fan in me. Every time I see the word en Endor, I think of Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Return of the Jedi. Home of the Ewoks. So like we're back up to full health and MP anyways. Okay, are you a shop? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, if you're the end, then... Hold on. If you're the end, then what's this over here? Really? 
You never thought to look on the other side of that wall there? Hmm. Never mind. Okay. How bad are these guys in this game? In Dragon Warrior 3, they can be slightly annoying. Since you first see them in the area around Romali, Romali, however you pronounce that word. One of the first stops, one of the one of the earlier points in the game. And unless you've really loved did, done a lot of level grinding before then. These guys can be quite irritating when you first see them in part three. Okay, we've already seen this one multiple times back in that last tower. a castle. Oh, we made it. Okay. What's going on here? Oh, you're full of something. <laughs> Never mind. I just had to say it. Uh, I don't know if I want to stay at the end yet. See what... Maybe this is one of those scenarios where it needs to be nighttime. Like giving that golden bracelet to those kidnappers to save the princess earlier. Had to be nighttime specifically. I mean, I doubt that's the case this time, but... What meals? Well, you think you're a cook? Yeah, we just came from up north. Not too far up north, but... What bridge? There was no bridge. We warped. I guess we think we're Mario now. Okay, he's... No, okay, I guess there isn't nothing going on at night time here. Tournament? Oh goody, is this like part seven? In the All Trades Abbey? Oh, we can walk around the, okay. You can walk around the edge of the border of town. Just like the village of Ramoldar in the first Dragon Quest game. Where you actually had to do that on the west side or east side, all the way up the corner, all the way up the north border, and down to get to that secret shop that sold magic keys. You had to do that at least once. I mean, once you bought magic keys from there, you can buy them at a couple other locations for the rest of the game, but you had to find that secret path and go that way at least once to get that first key from that shop specifically. Yeah. I remember that took me a while to figure out because usually in those towns you know, once you step on the edge of the, the border of the town graphics, well, hold that thought. Let me, since I'm better, you know, since it'll probably be more easy to show than explain, since I suck at explanations. But used to be, if you want, you know, most other towns, if you want beyond this point, just instantly exit out of town. When I was playing the first Dragon Warrior game back in 1989, it took me, God, I don't remember how long, but much longer than it should have. 
to notice I could walk along the edge of the town and not just leave back to the world map. I don't think I'll ever forget that. Like, oh, oh sure, you can do that here. You can't do that anywhere else in the game, but yeah. Oh, I thought we had the silver key. Or no, we have the thieves key. Okay, never mind. I'm not here for no tournament. At least I don't think I am. Okay, maybe I am actually. I don't remember. Hmm. Mm. My middle finger flies in your face. What do you say to that? find out next video see you then as always thanks for watching see you next time bye